So for this problem, what I'm seeing is a, let me see if I can get something to point with here. I'm seeing sample mean standard deviation, so I know I'm dealing with a sample mean uh, uh, confidence interval. You're looking for an 80% confidence interval. Um, so on my calculator, I'll do that first. I'm going to do uh, stat kit test. I'm looking for a T interval, a one, one prop, or not a one prop, sorry. A one sample T interval, or just a T interval, not a two sample. That's next week. So a T interval, and we've got statistics, not data. And we know the sample mean was 30. Whoops, uh, stat, do something right there, stat test. And this is, let's see, I don't remember which one it was. I know what it looks like, T interval, there we go. So we're gonna come down to X bar and we came up with a sample mean of 30. We came up with a sample standard deviation of 10. We had 22 items in our, in our sample and we're looking for an 80% confidence interval, boy, a pretty low level of confidence, so 0.8. Come down to calculate and that's what it's saying the interval is. Now if we come over to Rossman Chance and try it there, I'm gonna select one mean I'm going to select, I'm going to type in, what am I going to type in? Um, I get 22 Sam, for a sample. I got 30 for a sample mean. I've got 10 for a sample standard deviation. I'm going to calculate. I'm going to calculate an 80% confidence interval. And there's the values. How does that compare to the, what the calculator gave me? Ah, just about exactly the same. So. We're going to type it in as 27.179 and see if it takes it. And 32.821, the moment of truth, it did it. Yay, we're done.